everybody, I'm Susan from Senior Style. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's pretty sunny in BC, but we're still in lockdown and now they're closing all the schools. So uh, every day is something different and I totally understand that it can be very stressful. I've been washing my hands like too much. See, I have rashes now. So it is pretty scary. Uh, we're going to be on lockdown for who knows. So anyways, I thought that to um, relieve some of the stress and maybe the anxiety of what's happening is I put together a tag. So it's going to be five things to do during the lock lockdown. So I'm going to be tagging people and I hope they do the tag and tag me because I think it would be a little bit of a stress reliever because it is pretty stressful. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, please like and subscribe. That's always appreciated and comment and tell me how you're making it through the lockdown. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Number one, take inventory of all your luxury items which includes bags, S SLGs, and accessories. So that may be something to do. You probably look in the closet and go, ooh, I bought too much stuff. So definitely take a look and see what you have there. All right, take an inventory of your non-luxury items, bags, wallets, clothes, shoes, and so on. And uh, sometimes you can integrate that with other things and it's a good idea to actually shop your closet and then you know exactly what you have and you're not like repeating or buying things that you already have basically. All right number three sort out items you haven't used in six months or a year and if that's the case you need to sell donate and you have to have a very good reason to keep the item because if you haven't used it in six months to a year you're probably not going to unless maybe it's like a seasonal piece and you only use it for the summer that's a different story but I'm just talking about anything that you haven't used in that time frame all right number four create a journal write down your feelings challenges and strengths and how you're getting through the lockdown because some people's emotions are running wild some are okay with it some are getting depressed so it's just kind of a gambit number five check on a family member neighbor or friend and uh, make sure that you can FaceTime them, text, or email to ensure that they're okay. So that's kind of important if you have family members that you can't visit right at the moment because you're on the lockdown, you can't really go anywhere, then um, at least check in on them and make sure that they're okay. And the sixth and final one is Hey, just be kind to others if you do have to go out and get some stuff at the store or whatever. You have no choice. You're running out of items. Don't stress out. And the people that are hoarding chicken, baby formula, toilet paper. I mean, come on. There's other people. That's pretty selfish. And along with the fact that you're selling the items because other people can't get them. However, don't stress out because the stores do restock and I would just check maybe every other day and see if your item is back in stock so you don't stress out about it. But I know we went to three or four stores. There was no chicken. There was no baby formula. There was no toilet paper. They didn't have any tissue paper towels. The only thing they had left was um, hamburger, which I thought was kind of crazy, and also uh, pork chops. 
but everything else was cleaned out. The whole store looked like it was like a disaster zone. So, you know, think about others when you're taking, you know, 40 things of chicken when you're only one person. It's a little bit ridiculous, so please be kind. All right, now I want to tag a few people to do the um, tag. Hey, Autumn Beckman, please do the tag. Love you. Also, Andre's World, please do the tag. You're my favorite. And uh, LA, uh, LA, LV Coffee Lover, Tiff, please do it. You're great. And uh, Diva, you know who you are, Monica. Please do the tag. And if you can think of any other people that would like to do the tag, please do and please tag me in. I would really appreciate that. So until next time, thanks for watching. Susan from Senior Style, and I hope everybody's safe. Have a good one. Bye, guys.